Hey guys, my Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our Ballistic Gel Block Test Series. And today we're looking at 38 caliber, um, and particularly the Hornady 125 grain XDP bullet. And uh, this is a, a bullet that we've previously ran in 357 Magnum. Uh, and although it's no real comparison, we'll, we'll take a quick look at, uh, at how the velocities of the 38 Special Plus P load uh, will stack up to the 357 Magnum load. Uh, but we won't, we won't try to do any unfair comparisons here because these are two completely different calibers. So uh, let's get turned around and take a look at the loading and then we'll get on out to the range. Okay, so our loading, of course, is the uh, 125 grain XDP bullet, but we're using a, a light power pistol for our powder. Uh, that's a favorite powder in 357 Magnum and 38 Special, especially with like the, the 110s, 125, uh, 140 grain loads. Um, and then CCI small pistol primers, number 500, and Starline Brass. And here's a good look at this bullet and how much of this is recessed down into the case. And, you know, these XTP bullets, uh, what's out of the case is the same from like the 180 grains all the way down to the 110s. The difference is how much of this bullet and how much of that extra weight is down in the case and how much more case volume, um, how much less case volume you have with larger bullets uh, yielding uh, less powder. So, all right, let's head out here to the range and see what these things will do. All right, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at the Hornady 125 grain XTP bullet. Uh, we have previously done a look at the uh, Remington Golden Sabre. And I will say that these are not the same loading on these bullets. Uh, so we'll have to look at the velocities to see, to see how close the velocities are to see if we're getting an accurate gauge between uh, the performance on the, the expansion for these two bullets. But uh, let's, uh, let's send some of these down range and see what we get. So Hornady 125 XTP loaded in 38 special out of the Rossi 20 inch R92. Lost these 1317. So that is a little bit faster than what the Golden Sabres were running. So wound channel is here. We did get that XTP expansion with those six pedals coming off. And looks like we're down here at about 19 and a quarter inches of total penetration with some pretty decent expansion on that. So not bad out of the rifle. Hornady 125 grain XTP and 38 special out of the Taurus six and a half inch tracker. Eleven twenty nine for the velocity. All right, this is our wound track right here in front. We've got the expansion. We got the six pedals coming off. Got a nice temporary wound cavity down through here, really similar to the rifle. And looks like total penetration is out here at about twenty and a half inches. Just nudged out the rifle. Uh, a little bit less expansion, a little bit more penetration. Order D, 125 XTP, loaded in 38 Special, out of the Ruger GP100, 5 inch. And we did not get a catch on that one. That was a high shot. I saw it squirt out the top. Velocity on that one is 11.57, shot two. Velocity of 11.34 for a two shot average velocity of 11.46.3. Wound track is here. 
pretty nice wound track. We got our ledge setting out here. Not not the six way expansion right off the bat like we've been seeing with faster velocities. And right here's our final bullet. Looks like we're laying at about 23 inches of penetration. And we got a decent mushrooming on this, uh, a little less than the faster velocities. All right, Rossi RP63, three inch barrel with the Order D, 125 grain XTP, loaded in 38 special. That was a high shot too. No velocity, make sure I got a catch. Did not get a catch on that one. So let's try that again. Again, no velocity. If I have to, I'll shoot that velocity off camera and get it back into our spreadsheet here in a minute. I do think we got to catch this time though, so let's go check it out. Okay, so this is our wound track here and it's right down in the middle of all these other ones. Nothing really special about this. We've got a little bit of lead fragment shed here about 12 inches in and this carries right on down for a total penetration of about 23 and three quarter inches. That is the three inch Rossi. All right, next up is the two inch Rossi with the 125 Hornady XTP loaded in 38 special. Velocity of 968.3. Let's go see if we got a catch on that one. All right, so here's our wound cavity on this one. This is the two inch Rossi. Um, this bullet actually, we got some expansion on this uh, up front, a little more than I was expecting. Actually, we got a really nice temporary wound cavity up here in that uh, three to, to seven, eight inch range. And this thing tracks right on down through here. And this is it right it's about here. 21 and a half inches. So there's a look at that, guys. All right, so uh, Hornady 125 XTP, that was out of the two inch Rossi. And go back and compare these uh, and the velocities to the, uh, the 125 grain Golden Sabre that we did in one of the other tests. All right, guys, so uh, back in the shop, we got these things dug out now. And as you can tell here, uh, we got typical expansions out of uh, the first three of these bullets. That's the two inch, the three inch, and the, uh, the five inch. Uh, the five and the six, not a huge difference there. Uh, all these bullets fully open as far as the pedals laying back and, and the lead uh, from the nose starting to lay back into there. Uh, the, the 20 inch, the six and a half and the 20 inch probably uh, are the only ones to note that actually went probably down past where the cantilever was on the original bullets. Um, and, you know, this is a, this is some pretty good expansion here. The temporary wound cavity with all five of these rounds was significant. And uh, you can see that from the slow motion on the videos. And, uh, you know, this is a, this is a pretty effective round uh, for 38 Special, uh, even with the plus P loading. So... So while we're here, let's make a quick comparison between these 38 Special Plus P loads and this exact same bullet loaded in 357 Magnum. So on the left of each of these pairs is the 38 Special Plus P load, and on the right is the 357 Magnum load. All fired out of the same guns uh, as far as the pairs go. And uh, <clears throat> from the rifle, we got a 762 foot per second difference. So this, is what 762 foot of extra velocity will do for you. Uh, on the six and a half inch, we had about 368 foot per second difference. On the five inch, we had 342 foot per second difference. 
on the three inch, we had 282 foot per second difference. And on the two inch, we only had 182 foot per second difference, but that is still a pretty dramatic effect, as you can see here. All right, guys, there it is. So uh, the Hornady 125 grain XTP in a plus P loading of 38 special. And uh, this thing did really well. I, I was surprised, even down to the two inch barrel, uh, the temporary wound cavity was, was nice and large and the penetration was exceptional out of this. So once again, just outstanding performance out of this XTP bullet. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And, and as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And Matt from Kentucky Range Time, we'll catch you on the next one.